Well, well hey, well, no, you're, was, look, first of all, so you're take it's fire. The same type of thing. I will say this fire. too. Rent due. I, I will say I, I will say this too because a lot of a lot of times what happens in the DMV because we don't have like centralized platforms like New York has or like these other big markets like California, a lot of times we don't even hear about people. We don't even know. It's not like we hear about them like oh no fuck that they not we not fucking with them. I like I always say and it's crazy. One of my favorite artists from this area is Gold Link, and I didn't hear about him until Crew. Okay, you know what I'm saying, but that's, that's that album. His first but album I also feel okay. like that's no, but but the point I'm making for you is it's not a cop out, but for a lot of people, it's a cop out. People just aren't willing to, to yeah, they're to, not willing to, to to really put their ear to the ground and see what's popping out underground. And I'm not saying that's necessarily you because I know you want to support artists from here. That's nah, a bro. But I'm not going to search for DMV mixtapes. No, I, you maybe so should. People, so, but, but me and y'all are like people always <laughs> ask me like Ashley always ask she said, "How did you hear about these artists?" I said, "Because I don't go to like a what's new because they're only going to give you Ariana Grande, they're going to give you, the you little right. baby this and that." Like I go in and I, I follow these artists because being a I guess a artist, I'm very in tune to like the young the man needs. Yeah. You see, know what I'm saying? When somebody says this person is like me though. But why when so it comes why, why to but you, aren't you? But it takes because effort it takes though. Because time. It but, takes time to do that. But nah, the effort nah, that, really if you want it, if you want to support somebody. it. So, so you'll listen to someone who's already a millionaire and then someone who's trying to get to that point and won't give him a chance? It's no, it's not about that. It's about accessibility. I'm not sifting Your music through. is on the same platform as those artists. What I'm saying to you, uh-huh. I'm not sifting through. There's no, there's like I said, there's no centralized location where DMV artists are being put on just like other big markets where their local artists are more known. More of their local artists are more known because they have a centralized place. If I had a centralized place to go to where they put in a dope, DC. No, well, like platform. Platform. Oh, platform wise. Right. So platforms other like markets, other like all right. What other markets? What What are their platforms? Your radio stations. They They put on more. They, they ready. Put the, a lot yeah, of other markets. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish yeah. my point. DMV don't play their own artists like that they on the radio. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not they don't. like that, but they no, hold on. They do. They have. Cali, hold on. Cali do. New York do. Go ahead, Sean. That's Cali how you. Know, that's how I know you were trying. So you don't think there's an hour where they 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 pay. Where they play local artists, but this no, is I'm the pretty problem. Sure that no, we, ours, we play local know. artists, but it's a lot less than Atlanta. I understand yeah, that. Okay. But guess what? Hold on. Okay. Okay. okay, it's a lot less. Mm-hmm. But when they do, do you listen? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you hold on. If I'm on the radio, you, we're, we're talking about the masses. Right, 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 right. No, okay, so somebody are they was saying that at they're... one o'clock on Tuesdays. No, no, no. nine o'clock. No, it's that actually ain't no like, that, 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 I get what she's saying. That centralized time doesn't do the artist any good. Nobody's listening at nine o'clock when they get off of work. Bro. All right, so let me ask you. Because you be tired I, and you no, guys are listen to How radio, you re- period. That's yeah. not So I want to ask you a good... What makes you want to rap? If you are, if you know all of this stuff, if you know that people from this area do not want to listen to local rappers, what makes you do it? Because I, because I got a I got a knack, and it's a hustle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The fact that I could come in here and talk to y'all and not even know y'all, and I'm already thinking like, yo, I want to support them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it from the kindness of my heart. I don't give a fuck if nobody don't go download my shit. Mm-hmm. Why not? You know why? So why you doing you it? You know then? why? No, because I'm I'm all about like like when I'm with them, I'm about energy. Mm-hmm. So I know that that eventually you're gonna come to me and talk to me about something and then I'm gonna plug my music in. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Right, so then. so some people are always looking for the broader span. Mm-hmm. I always tell my wife this, I take a currency crowd. Mm-hmm. I take a currency crowd if I can't get a motherfucking uh, a MMG crowd. Yeah. But some niggas want to go, man. I'm, I'm trying yeah. to go. I'm trying to be the big. I'm trying to be man, like Rowdy Rick. Nigga, you don't got. You might. It might not be time for that. You might gotta build your way up. And I think once we take that that train of thought out, like if I get fifty niggas texting me this morning, fifty niggas texting me by my mixtape, I'm happy. Yeah. That fifty niggas heard my motherfucking mixtape, but that takes. Energy, your energy has to change. That's fact. Because at one time I was just like, nah, niggas need to be listening to my shit. I got a yeah. song with Trail that shit did twenty eight thousand on YouTube. Niggas need to be listening to my shit. And where that shit got me sitting down with no motherfucking job. I had to go back to work after coming off a tour with Wale. After going to South by Southwest and after going to BET Awards. So now I start humbling myself, using people around me, and saying like, I'm just gonna build this shit on my own. We gonna build this shit on our own. Like I'm gonna take y'all show wherever I go on the road. I'm gonna put y'all show on a shirt somewhere, mm-hmm. and I'm I fuck with y'all. You feel me? Respect. So that but, but we so busy trying to go big and be all big and everybody be seen instead of just taking small steps because Rockefeller wasn't built overnight. 
Facts. That nigga bought a building with some crack money and did what the fuck he had to do. You feel me? That's a that's a great point because people feel like, yo, I've been grinding hard for two months straight and I ain't get where I'm supposed to be. Like, and no, and, that's true. and like what they say, there's no such thing as an overnight artist. Mm-hmm. So you think like this one artist, like, oh, the next day started making music and he blew. No, this nigga's been put in there. And you work. go on YouTube you and they've been up there for no. five yeah. years, but you just hadn't tuned in. But I think it's an effort issue. At the end of the day, when you want to be hip, you when you want the information, you're going to seek it. You're going to go look it. for it. Because I would tell you like this, as somebody who was on the scene with DC Underground Music back in 2006, where niggas would pay $120 to, to go see yeah. Jimmy or, or Jay or whoever, but you won't go to a free show yeah. for your own local yeah, yeah. artists yeah, yeah. and support them. It's all about what you're trying to put in because it's there. It's there. These these artists are doing shows. They they they, they putting paid. out music. Yeah. You have to yeah. seek the information because you're not always gonna get it spoon fed to you when it's not mainstream. That's the logic behind it not being mainstream. But a lot mainstream of is gonna get sent too. to you, yeah. boom, to your face because yeah. it's yeah. mainstream. Yeah. 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 You gotta look for it. Steakhouse. I was in Pure. I was in all Bohemian the Bohemian Caverns. D two. Like, the yes. U turn. But, but we artists though, so it's different. But yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't in. I, I mean, I, I made moves, but I wasn't an artist then. I was a spectator. You, no, hold on. No, you still were an artist. But I wasn't performing. I wasn't that doing, you know. The, what the, well, oh, artist? no, but I'm just saying, like, I wasn't on the bill. Well, I'm a, well, while all that is true, and if you really wanted all that stuff, all that is very true, and it sounds really great, but I'm going to let y'all know, like, and I probably already know, your average person is not doing all of that work for new music. But then the they can't air. complain they about not getting it. They can't complain it's about It's not about complaining. It's just the fact, that, uh, it's just my, making the point that it's, I was making the point that a lot of people from the area, it's not that they don't hear it. I mean, it's not that they hear it and be like, I'm not fucking with that because the the it's not mainstream. Sometimes we don't even hear it. Niggas is oh, yeah, so it's not, so, so I don't want local artists to feel like, especially in this area where there's not a centralized location to find music from this area that's good. Cause you have to. First of all, you let's be honest. You gotta sift through a lot of bullshit, and I'm, a bull- lot of people don't. But you think it's that bullshit in ATL in New York? But I don't hear the bullshit there. But you know what? Because but, you but, only hear what fact, makes it mainstream, but you know, or but what you know it has a lot of though? buzz. You know why no, their but, radios put them on though? Their radio stations put their local orders on because their 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 locals ask for it. They want it. We don't ask for that shit. Niggas here. We'll talk about how local artists not doing this, this, and yeah, this. So y'all yeah, didn't hear this, yeah, but y'all not yeah. asking for it. Y'all won't tune in for that hour that they playing them. If you tuned in, they will put more out yeah, there. That, but when y'all calling and requesting, you know what I'm the saying? Same these same bye bye. Make the stallion. Well, yeah, people, that's what you gonna get. People still calling to the. I mean, you know what I mean. When you make your, when you, when you, that's people what you going on for. Apple and going on radio and going on playlists. That's what people are doing today. Well, then they can't complain. You it's, can really it's make not it about complaining. I just alone. wanted like, to let no the radio. artists you know. Can make it, without, without it ain't the artist's fault. No, I, that's and that's artist. all I'm saying. I'm not complaining about. I'm letting the artists know that if you're a DMV artist and you're from this area, if people aren't supporting you the way that you feel like you should be supported, yeah. it's some people are listening to it and not gonna support until this mainstream and then some people don't eat it doesn't even hit their so radar how, okay so all right so how does a dmv artist pause go big they leave that's how that they have to get popping somewhere that's, else they leave and that's, that's the down, great and that's so the downside it's, it's unfortunate because, i'm not saying that to oh, yeah, be yeah, proud yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm not saying that to be yeah. proud at all i'm i'm just saying that is what no, it is you got you gotta other, make it somewhere another else market and come back. Yeah, because as DMV locals, we need to do better with supporting our local artists. Stop fucking being lazy because as soon as you hear the slightest buzz about a nigga from somewhere else, you digging up their whole catalog. (laughs) Do the same thing for your fucking local artists. Put the work in. If you want to see people big from here, put the fucking... But to even (laughs) even know that they exist, you you have to to either, either you search for them, either you take time out of your day and you search for them, or Man. we have you to gotta, create a centralized, but a centralized you, gotta, you gotta dump down your music Google, you, it will get you, you gotta make a song with a dance hours. to it it gotta go viral you gotta that's what you gotta Listen, do I, like. I'm gonna tell you right now I, I after this show I edit the show I cut it up I do the I post clips, I work, I do all these I don't have time to go in Google and search and I don't have a job where I, I can sit down and get on the computer and look. I, I cannot look through a, a bunch of bullshit. That's a I got Call I got two kids that I gotta do just as much Call as you it do. What the and fuck I, you want? I cannot do you it. Make excuses. I, I'm not doing That's it. Excuse. I'm not I'm That's not going excuse. through a bunch of bullshit of a bunch of niggas that sound like niggas in Atlanta just to find a job. If you're not doing it, how can you say they sound? 
All like right, she that, made though. a good. She made a good point. No, the that, fuck she did. Hold on, hold on. No, the, the fuck she one, did. It's the way too point. much talent here to have that pessimism, <laughs> Look, though. The, the I'm one. not. I'm just saying. I'm not doing all of that. I'm not sifting through a bunch of bullshit because it's a lot of bullshit from this area. How do you know? Hold on. How the fuck you know if you never listen to the shit? I never said I never listened to it. Who you listen to? What you mean? Who do I? Which was that a hard a, question to I'm comprehend? Not, I'm not putting no, what I'm artists not, have you I'm listened for no me? I'm not putting no names out there. I'm not putting no names out there. Yeah, because you have it. That's, nah, nah, that's not true. Because but I, but I there's people I, that my I, little brother, I have a younger brother who put, who, who lets me hear a bunch of people. Because a lot of youngins listen to local yeah, yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah. And they'll hit, hit, I'll hear it by writing with him or whatever. He'll put me on a certain thing. So you'll listen to another artist album that you've never heard. You got you to gotta listen to it to know if it's bullshit or not, right? I'm telling you where I would get the the music. Because I wouldn't... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. So... If somebody gave you the the name of an artist in Atlanta that you haven't listened to, you would listen to it, right? Not necessarily, no. Okay. Are That's you fair. aware that there's actually a playlist dedicated to DMV, DMV artists? No. And it's already sifted through yeah. the bullshit? No. Yeah, Can you please put uh, light on it? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is on, on Apple Music. Put light on uh, it. it. Do y'all it. listen to Dora, that? Rent, Dora, Dora, Dora Winfred on Instagram. She Shout curates... Out DJ. She curates the whole... Hey. Do y'all listen to that, those playlists? I check I it out know. often. I, honestly, I don't have to listen to playlists because we I've been know tuned already. in this well, like, okay. Okay. So But the same, artists that I've, the same artists that I've taken my time to go search and, and look into are on that platform. And okay. The, and the bullshit is already sifted through. Got you. Now, say it again so I can write it down. It's the new DMV playlist. Yeah. Okay. Just you search that on it. Apple. Like you can't miss it. Thing on there. I listen to it every day. Just in case shout out to Dora, Dora Winfred on shout Instagram. Shout out to the whole town. Yeah. So, yeah, right. I did not pretty even girl. know so, that, that so, stuff so, is already being curated because even they were speaking of, well, it's not being curated because of blah, blah, blah. So, it is being done. So this is what this so so this is this is the thing like um so like y'all like artists y'all in the artists so y'all are artists and we not so, me but well, they are they yeah. are so mm-hmm. what what she happens a no I'm not <laughs> I well I get on her about this too because I listen to a lot of down that like down south shit that niggas don't listen to and they be like man what the fuck is that but then the nigga blow up and you like them but the thing is. We gonna go research it because we are artists and we know how we feel when somebody doesn't listen to our shit. So we take that same culture and go do it. Person that don't really give a fuck about music, they just listen to it to get to the club and smoke a J. They like, all right, that shit was cool. Same thing with podcasts. Y'all don't really listen to podcasts like that. Fuck podcasts. Look, so I did that, but I do. But I do. So Kurt, what you got time for that? You got time to sit through that bullshit? Because you people make time. I hate to sound like a bitter bitch. I don't look. I don't. I don't. It pops up on my. Yo, but so <laughs> I know. So even shitty ass rappers, right? Rappers are lyricists. They're writers. They're poets. I know how how much it takes to buy beats to get your shit mixed, to pay for studio time, to come up with bridges, hooks, verses for a mm. nigga to listen to your shit for five seconds and say I don't like it. After you done what? put six, hold on, hold on, hear me. For six months, I gave this shit to you free, and then you want me to come out with another fucking album because the the music is so oversaturated because NBA Young Boys come out with a project That's every true. fucking two weeks. True. So even for a nigga that sucks, it's hard because you can't do something. Man, he sent me your music. I gave him feedback immediately. I said, well, I'm fucking with this joint because guess what? I gave it the honest car ride. I ain't give it That's the headphone car. ride, the car ride. Right. So look, I'm right now Georgia Avenue. I hit him, I said, this shit crank because I have to give it an honest listen because if I give you my music like if I tell y'all to listen to some shit and she pick up her phone I'm I'm gonna pause it Mm -hmm. because I want you to hear this shit you know what I'm saying so I definitely feel you because I I feel like us being artists we appreciate it so since we are artists and she is somewhat interested because she's jotting notes down you know what I'm saying so what we gotta do is we got we, we gotta make sure that we introduce them to new shit because I be introducing her to like niggas in Atlanta like Trouble and Trouble. And, that's my dog. You know Edgewood. One of the now, best albums from last year. Exactly. So now, now she'll come back and be like, "Hey, you heard this shit? Trouble got right here. This shit hard. You gotta listen to what he said right there." Because she's not even the type of person to listen to that on the. Normal. I think. I think one also, of the hardest albums last year. Like think, people talking. I'm sorry. That I'm shit was sorry. hard. Oh, I think a lot of. I think sometimes you guys underestimate the power behind a big machine. Of pro- that will this that will true, give bro. promotion because 
I'll, and oh, I'll give you yeah. the I'll give you an example. And I'm not saying that that makes the artist greater or that's the end all be all. But a lot of times, for your average person who's not an artist who's not seeking it out, which is the masses and how people are selling shows and making their money, because if they had to rely only on musicians or music lovers, they would make no money. Let's keep it a buck. So because this is such a small population, I I, I always because. Everybody know how much I like uh, Meg Thee Stallion or whatever. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear about I I went to go see her. I didn't never heard her music before I saw a freestyle that she did well, on Instagram. Really hold on, hold on. Let me make mm-hmm. this point. She did a freestyle, mm-hmm. and I heard her rap on a freestyle online, and I was like, who the fuck is this? That's what made me go. But I'm sure she was doing freestyles before, yeah, but she, she just signed with 300 in December. So I'm sure they got her on this platform and that platform and this rap show and that rap show and that freestyle platform and all these things, which made her more visible, which made her come across somebody like me. Um, what you call it? I didn't oh, hear Big O' Free. I saw that thing. I heard that before I heard Big O' Free. So, so, can I say something? Go ahead. Sabreso against the white machine. You know how a lot of these independent artists are not signing because they have to sign with the white machine. So one hundred percent. Yeah. So you know why they they want the rights to the music. They want their but publishing. You're, but you're want, making hold on, hold on. Okay, I didn't cut you off. Go ahead. They want their masters. This and that. When you sign that contract and get dicked down, that's why black artists are not doing it because they want so, control and shit. You're basically saying, oh, sign with this major that's label. That's not so what you, the fuck I said. So, when you talking about distribution. We're talking what about, I, we're talking you about advertising. Hear it until. Exactly. until they sign with a major. Yeah. So, okay. but, this is, but that's, that's I'm not that. saying that, oh, make sure y'all sign, sign to a major. Right, right, right. So, I'm if saying, you don't sign with a major, that's how not do you... What, but you gotta let me finish, okay? I'm sorry. The reason, the, what I'm saying is, whether I like it or not, the fact remains that when you sign with a label that's gonna help give you that promotion, that that is when you have more visibility. I, it's an it, it should it be that way? Because I believe I'm the one that says black people should own more of our culture. We should own our culture. Period. There should be black companies like a 300 instead of Jewish owned 300s. Because you do some art. A lot of artists need machines. I just don't want them to be white. But the fact is, all these machines are white machines because our people decides to pay into the machines and not create So you're money. saying that the artists should conform so they can I get I never your said they That's should. That's what you're just saying. No, okay, I'm not saying you. that they should. I'm saying that that is what happens and that is what makes them come across my radar. So gotcha. this is the problem with that, though. Like, this is the problem with that. You, uh, uh, a record contract is a loan. Absolutely. So it's interest tacked onto that loan, but yes. that interest ain't the money that you think it is. It ain't the money. It's like... I I just got signed a, I just got signed to Rock Nation, right? Rock Nation might not dick me down. Like like not not no homo, but like they might not do <laughs> no dirty shit to me. You feel me? I gotta correct that because I don't want niggas to think like this nigga gay. No, <laughs> no, bro, <laughs> hold on, we grown, man. Niggas you just playing that, that shit. Yeah, 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 but you but um but uh like they, it's a loan. Yes. So you go in, they say, All right, um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna bring you in, uh We're gonna give you this money. We're gonna give you this that, contract yeah. right here, we're gonna bring your partners on. They're going to be your manager. We're going to get them office. They're going to set up a little small office. Y'all can work out of with a printer and some bullshit, right? So that right there is already like, like they might have spent 20 bands. They're going to say they spent 20 bands, right? You get that 20 bands. Then as you keep on accumulating, you bring your more niggas on and you're paying for more videos and more videos and more videos. You get more debt. Then when you don't hit that 300, it's a little bit more than that. But like when you don't hit that, they want anything 80 and up. But that eighty ain't really no good for real. They want anything like like three hundred thousand and up or a hundred thousand and up. When you don't hit that hundred thousand and up or that three hundred thousand and up, they give you another album. We are gonna give them one more shot. Mm-hmm. Then they tack more interest on to that. So yeah, and then that shit flop. You get what I'm saying? But the problem with the the problem with you, like what you saying with the machine, why a lot of niggas ain't jumping behind the machine? Cause some niggas that know the business can go in and get a partnership with a machine, mm-hmm. like like right. say a Dave East. Mm-hmm. He's smart. He know the drug game, so he know the music business. Or Nipsey Hussle. Or oh, Nipsey Hussle. Major, right. Yeah. So they go get a they go get a machine. But like some niggas go get that machine because they only going into music for one reason. And I don't give a fuck if it's old, old or young. They both do it. They only going into it for the money. They're not going into it for the art. Because they, they don't the have leverage. That's yeah. what business deals are about. It's about leverage. And I understand. Yeah. I just wish more of the machines were black-owned machines. Because a lot of artists, let's be honest, you need you need a production team. You need all of well, these. That's what we create. You need right all these. Now. Right. You need, and, that, and, and that is part of the I'm solution. going all the way to independent. And that's, that's but that's man. a part of the solution. Everybody don't have the resources to do that. Well, I, I, I we made this because I met Kurt in the fucking room in the in the break room getting coffee. 
Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And then, then we just came together. We just, like, we born in the same mm-hmm. month. Mm-hmm. Our energy was the same. I know when to fuck with them. I know when not to fuck with them. You know what I mean? I be telling niggas at work, don't fuck with them today. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know it. But our, our, I culture, mean? our culture and our music would be way better off if the machines were black-owned machines, in my but opinion. That's, that's, no, what, it's not even that's so. what Nipsey was all about, buying back yeah. the block. But yeah. it's not even all about black because they want their money, too. Yeah. Because, say no names, my man had... A contract with Rock Nation. Mm-hmm. He was like, they was trying to finesse me because mm-hmm. they, they, they know they can. Well, because they know they can. Well, if you don't you know, have no leverage, how you going? How you going to do? Because the of, leverage. What you mean? Yeah, some people go into deals with your work. Is, is Rock Nation black? No, 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 no. It is. So, Sean Carter Enterprises. No, no, no. So, some not, people go into these deals with leverage and some don't. And so the ones with don't, that don't don't have, like a Nipsey could go into the room and say, look, I already sold this many and albums. Got, I already did this it. stuff. Yeah. They have more leverage you know than that, somebody that who's never com- sold a... Uh, but that also comes back to us, though, as a consumer, too, because yeah. it kind of turns into a what came first, the chicken or the egg situation. And the, rea- the, the reality yeah, of the situation is we have to, as the consumer, as the ones who want to see our support. black artists have black, uh, we got to support. Yeah. And support, it means that you're going to have to dig and look for this shit sometimes, too. And it's, it's no shade to nobody, but it's like at some point, we got to be willing. We're not going to get spoon-fed it like other, like no. other, other platforms other do. Unfortunately, no. No. it sucks because a lot of, you know, there are platforms where they just get the shit handed right to them. It's, made, it's right there in front of you. It's served to you on a platter. You don't really have to put in the work. For us, unfortunately, being black, we got work. So us as a consumer, we got to take some of that on our back, too, because... And I'm not to say that you're complaining because I know where you're coming from with this. But a lot of us will hem and haw about how we don't this, this, and this. But when the shit is there, we're not supporting it like we should. And that's why we're not getting the return right. that we should on these investments because we're not putting in the work with it. We got to support our own, too. 